Hello guys, it's Andrew from Andrew's Videos here. And yes, I am back with a new review from the two on the Spirit Halloween 2016 Spider Portrait. Now this Spider Portrait was released this year for at Spirit Halloween and is being sold for $39.99 and is being featured in the hotel theme for this year's display. No, here's a quick look at the front of the box for the Spider Portrait prop. And it's got some really nice background. Um, you got a little synopsis at the bottom there. Whoops. Uh, it says, key on attached easel to allow you to prop up or hang on any wall. Realistic moving spider, spooky sound effects, motion sensor activated, display virtually anywhere. And as you can see on the right hand corner there, it does have a volume control and requires free AA batteries. So the spider portrait is now outside of the box and we are going to take a closer look at this prop right now. Uh, as you can see around the border, border if I can speak, uh, you got a nice design of skulls and feathers. So all around there is a really nice design to it, make it look all antique and old. And at the bottom, that is where the sensor is. I'm not sure if you guys can see it, but the sensor is at the bottom. And as you can see, we have the picture in the middle, which is in black and white, because it's supposed to meant to look old. As you can see, you got the little girl in kind of like antique looking clothes, older looking clothes, and you have some spider web webbing torn a uh, little like spider web torn pieces printed on there and you got the spider which is just on a magnet it's just like a real I mean it's just like a fake spider you can get at like a dollar store or something and it comes like a little magnet um, that is where and yeah, I can find it. There we go. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and turn this prop on so I can show you what it does. Before I turn Spider Portrait on, I want to give you a quick look at the back of the portrait. So there is the easel that you can prop up on a shelf or a table. Uh, the keyhole's up there if you want to hang it up on a wall. Um, there's the speaker, and here's the volume control. control. So that is very, really, very really cool that these tabletop uh, props have volume control. So that is really, really nice. Um, over here, you got the battery primer, which again does take free AA batteries. And you got the toggle switch, which is, just has an on and off setting to it. Alright, so now we're going to demo Spider Portrait right now. So like I said, since it's at the bottom of the picture frame. Overall, um, the spider portrait is a really, really cool prop. Uh, I love all the detail, especially the border. The, the border looks really, really cool. I, li I, I like the design on that a lot. Um, it actually made to look like real wood. See, it's got like some of like the creases in there. I know I didn't really explain it or tell you that in the um, detail of the spider portrait. But it does look like real wood, the border does. And I love it. If you're doing like an attic or like an abandoned house or like a haunted house, this will go great in hanging up on a wall or sitting on a shelf. Um, and that's what I also kind of like. If you don't have any room to display it hanging up on a wall, you can put it on a shelf and it will look just as cool as if it was 
Um, now, this portrait is bigger than what you'll probably see in the store. In the store, it kind of looks a little bit small because it's hanging up on a wall. And, yeah, but once you bring it home, it, it's much bigger. Well, at least that's what I thought. Um, so, yeah, I love all the great detail. I like the spider, even though they could have done a little more. It says realistic on the box, but it's not real realistic. You can obviously tell it's a fake spider, which is a magnet. So I kind of wish they could have made it look like a real spider, rather than just uh, sticking a fake one on there. But, oh well, it is what it is. Uh, I love the picture, I like how it looks so old. Um, I like the spider webbing, torn look on it. It makes it look even more creepy and have an old look to it. Uh, it also looks pretty antique too. That's really cool. So, um, enough rambling. I'm going to be giving all of the from Tomb Raider scale. I will be giving the Spirit Halloween 2016 Spider Portrait Prop a total of 4 out of 5 pumpkins. So yes, this is a really, really awesome, uh, cool prop. Like I said, it can go well in any attic or haunted house scene that you're trying to do. Um, I I really like the audio, how it makes it look like the the girl is still there, but she's in the painting, like her ghost is still in uh, the painting, even if it's just a picture. And I like how she is worried about the spider. And it just makes it seem like she's there in the picture staring at you. That that really makes it a really cool effect. So, uh really hope you enjoyed this review. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.